All right, so now it's Wednesday night after work. Um, I'm trying to get motivated. I sat down for a minute. When I come home from work, check the email. Now I don't feel like doing nothing. Uh, last night I didn't get too much done on my stuff. I had to start that 400 for my brother. Well, I guess he could have started it himself, but anyway, so we, I don't know, either work on the booster or you guys want me to work on the trike, so I think I'm going to do that, but how much, I don't know. I got a, had a dead mouse in my car. I haven't showed this very much. Um, I don't know why. I think I showed it once, twice, I don't know. goes like stink. Uh, these things are supposed to do, from what I'm reading, 13 eighths, but I could only do 13 one on the quarter mile with this setup. Maybe it's the tires, I don't know. I only went three runs. Anyway, it's a fun little car. Um, I found the mouse in between the floor mat and the hump on the other driver's side, but I still smell it. Every once in a while I get a smell, so I'm thinking it's, there's some more, maybe had babies up inside there. I don't know how the friggin' little bastards got in, but you know, it doesn't take much. So let's get back here. Let's crack that pop open. Start drinking that and let's get motivated. Yeah. A little bit of a Scooby snack before we get going here. The kids didn't get them all. I made a mistake of telling them about it and uh, they always steal them on me. You can see they've been out here. Yeah, buddy. Haha, <laughs> they missed a whole bunch. Mine. Okay, so I didn't really want to touch this because I don't think I have the time to uh, get it done. But you know what? They don't work anyway, so what's the difference if it goes with the master cylinder? As long as this stuff's still here. Um, uh, not exactly sure what I'm gonna do with this. I still haven't decided. Let's pull this brake stuff off and see what kind of bolt pattern matches up to that. And you can see it's not going to. It's not gonna be easy because uh, this is an L shape. This fits right in there. So the brake booster is way wider, so it's not gonna bolt on easily. All right, so there it is with a. Uh, it lost some bit of weight. Uh, just deciding what I'm going to do here. Should take that one off, and then uh, we'll see how it matches up. But right now, I can tell you it's probably going to hit the bottom. So we need to decide what to do with it. Now I'm going to lose lose some friggin' leverage too, with because this is a shorter pedal setup. This here should have been as short as possible and like this should be mounted down farther and this here should have been real short so that should have been down here that would have given me more leverage than that thing so let's tear this off it's no good the way it is so alright so that's kinda of what I'm looking after um, I'm gonna have to reposition this fuel line here I think we'll just get rid of it and put a piece of copper line in there and bend it different I don't know. Maybe I can get the vice grips on it and turn it around. If I had that fuel line out of there, I could stuff that brake booster back underneath there, and I could cut part of that angle iron off, but it'd probably be just easier to push it under there as far as it'll go, and then uh, weld onto the, what's already there, and hopefully it'll line up with that a little bit more better, and it might still not be able to push it, but let's give her a try here. I'm just going to use this old paper gasket that was on the booster. I'll use that as my template. Cut out the holes with the torch. Now, I'm probably going to leave it to one side. 
because I need that clearance, I think. I have to figure this out now. Oh, probably just weld it on the side. Yeah, see those holes aren't going to line up, so it needs to come over a little bit. Anyway, and that'll leave us a little adjustment room. So I can't find my chalk, so I'm going to use a rock. It leaves good marks. Okay, we have a crudely cut bracket, and these holes are a little bit bigger. Hopefully I get enough play, I can put it right in, won't have a problem. Let's knock the center of that out, grinder out. Yeah, yeah, my torches aren't the best. Wish I had a plasma cutter, but I can't afford it. So we'll work with what we got. Definitely not my best fab work, but we're in cut time restraints and I don't have a lot of tools here at home. I guess I could have uh, did a little nicer job, but it'll work. Alright, do a test fit. Hope to God it fits fits the first time. Oh, of course not. Oh, that's why we see how awful my tracing skills are. Oh, I'll get the friggin' drill out. I think I'm going to use the torch on that one. Make it a bit bigger. And maybe I'll just use the torch. I'll mark them with a marker this time. Get chewed out a little bit more. If I had my soapstone, it would have been right on. Alright, so this time it fits. A little finagling. I'm going to put a couple of nuts on it there and then I'm going to put it up here. Test fit it and probably tack it in place. Wow, even test fit even better. You can see what's happening here. It's going on the other side of that plate, which I kind of like. Um, yeah, so let's grind some more of this bracket. Sorry about the leg, guys. This bracket here, if I didn't get it, feels like I got it. I need to grind some of that too. No, my welder's still working. Give that a little tack. And you can see this arm here is not totally in line with this. But this has a little bit of play. I'm thinking about taking that pedal, cutting that off of there, and come in here, weld that right on the end, in here somewhere. Or bend it over. Well, uh, maybe bend it over and then up, because it will come out. So, yeah. All right, so we're calling that a success. Weld's not too bad. I had a little bit of problem with the wire speed, I think. But, you know, for out in the garage, I'm not going to complain. I think that's going to be plenty strong. It's really hot right now. Um, it's well lit on the front and the back, and it's on the overlap, so if it gets pushed, I mean, at later I could add a brace to here to here if I have to. Um, it probably even weld it in that motor mount. Keep from flexing a bit. Eh, I might just do that. We'll see. I can do that part after. Let's stab that back on there. And we'll work on our arm. I mean, the longer this arm... Uh, oh no. The shorter this arm, the better. But I probably should have mounted this lower. I kind of put that on top of that. Maybe I should have, now that I think about it, cut that bracket off here and then lowered that whole thing down. That would have given me, that would have been a lot better than I just did. Uh, damn it. Well, it's not going to be hard to change after. I only welded it on a few places. I mean, I could take the chops off, cut that off there and there. So let's, uh, yeah, I don't know what I do. That's too long. Probably not going to have any breaks, even with the booster. Oh well, let's try it, see what happens. What can go wrong? Alright, so, yeah, there it is, all hacked out. Now, obviously if I had more time in a proper shop, we could do a lot nicer job, but we're uh, under a lot of time restraints, and there's only one of me, so. A lot of these TV shows, they have a whole crew behind the scenes, um, other people working on the same project. So we're going to stab that on there, weld that on there, I'm going to put that pin through there first. And then, uh, let me see it's at a different angle. Too bad I couldn't turn it around. It would have been nicer because it's at that kind of an angle. But we'll, we'll sort it out. We'll get that welded on there and get back to you. Okay, I'm calling that good for tonight. Um, I have to go and feed the kids now. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking that arm's way too long. But what are we going to do about it? I don't know. i tell you what we could do about it. 
but it ain't gonna happen before the car show <laughs> that's for sure so tomorrow night I'll hook the brake lines up <coughs> you see it's kinda left to hang in there I should have enough slack in those lines to get somewhere and hook up the brake booster uh, let's see make it work here for you. it does go in but it pushes hard without anything in it hang on I'm not in the right spot for that it could be easier like I said this arm should be shorter this might have to move down down into here somewhere and that would bring that arm down into here which would be give you a mechanical advantage but it looks good in there it doesn't stick way out like I thought it was going to uh, and offset the balance of the engine well not the balance but you know the flow I thought that thing would hang way out it looks stupid the big brake pedal that's why I got away from that big brake pedal didn't want it um, yeah okay guys so that took about two hours two and a half hours and that was not fabbing very good and it could have took like friggin probably should have took six hours to do what I did but anyway don't tell my wife I was drinking her Pepsi she doesn't watch my videos I don't think or she would realize I have her Pepsi especially in the glass bottle <laughs> cheers remember please comment rate and subscribe and I'm gonna try to put out five videos a week and I'm gonna take the weekend off this weekend we'll be at wheels on the bay so you're probably gonna get some extra videos here and there may I'll save some of that footage um, and get Jimmy Shine back in it. I took him for a ride. I had video of it, but I didn't never posted it yet. Maybe we'll edit some of that. Anyway, guys, take it easy. Subscribe.